we're going to start by creating the project and to do that we're going to use the spring initializer which is at start.spring.io now this will create you a skeleton uh, spring spring boot project which is what we're going to start so what I want to do I want to leave it as a maven project and we want to leave the default language as java we're also going to leave it at the most recent version which at the time of recording this is 2.4.0 we're going to give it a group of com dot uh, your guys, and then we're going to give it an artifact name of to do list because that's what we're doing. We're creating a to do list. Um, you can put in your own description if you want to. We're going to have it as jar. We're going to keep it a Java version 11. And then over in the dependencies, what we want to do, we want to actually add Spring Web. Because so we're going to create a, a web based uh, application. So once you've done that, click Generate. And then we can just save the file, which creates this zip file down here. So if we go that and we extract it. We'll see all our, our POM file and source files all in there. So if we were to go across to um, Visual Studio Code and open the folder, we'll see our project, including the current resources and test. So that's the first way of creating your spring project and, and possibly uh, the quickest way and only way really uh, if you don't have IntelliJ which is another place you can actually create this from which I will show you in the next video.